Hi everybody, this is Dawn with Scrapbook Sage. I'm gonna do a quick flip through of a journal that I've made. I know it's been a while since I've been online. Um, I've been pretty busy this summer. Um, I have an opportunity to be in a local store called Crafted in Seaside in Seaside, Oregon. And so I've been making journals for there this summer and it's been pretty busy because since it's a coastal town. And um, hopefully this fall I'll make more journals, but some friends on some of the social media that I've been on asked if, oh, are you going to do more videos on Rumble? And I'm going to try to do that. So if I do a video, I'll try to get it up on Rumble and um, possibly YouTube. So I'll be working on that. Just give me um, some time. Probably this winter I'll do more, but I'll try to do videos as I can. So welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. I primarily do flip throughs. Um, I will sometimes do some how to's and stuff like that, but um, I don't do a whole lot of things that people don't already do. There's a lot of many, there's many skilled artists out there that are better communicators and de teachers than I am. But I do have a lot of fun making journals and um, sharing what I've made with you guys. So that's primarily um, what I do in my videos. So if you like flip throughs, this is a good, a good channel for you guys to either subscribe to either through Rumble or YouTube. So, and my Rumble channel is Scrapbook Sage and YouTube is Dawn Orahid. Okay. So my phone has been acting up a little bit. I have to make sure it doesn't get too warm. So I'll do a quick flip through. Um, it's a tiny little journal. The digital kit is inspired. It's one of Lindsay Zanor's digital kits. You can go ahead and check out her um, paper products either on Etsy, Nevermore Creation 17 on Etsy, or on, um, I believe she's on Shopify, but if you do Nevermore Creations um, 17, you'll see her items. So um, I have a really simple journal here. I keep my journals pretty simple. Um, I have more tabs on here than I normally would. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Again, I'm a little bit concerned about my phone overheating and um, shutting off on me before it does. And I um, hopefully will show you some other journals. I have made um, my goal originally in January was to make 100 journals this year. And then Crafted in Seaside opened. And it turns out that things are um, going pretty well there. So um, I set a goal to make 300 journals this year. So I'm at 100, about 175 is probably where this is landing. And um, like I said, I sometimes I'll do stamping and stenciling in my journals. Sometimes I won't because um, these are really for new journalers. I want to make sure there's room for writing and then if they have stamps or they want to paint and stuff like that, I try to leave room for them. So, um, and that's one reason why I might not take photos of all of my journal pages and stuff because they really are more naked journals than um, anything else. I might have um, some ephemera and or some things in them for inspiration, but um, I tend to do it pretty lightly for those reasons. So um, I know we all love to see what um, aged paper we have in each other's, um, in our stashes and all the ribbons and laces and stuff. But I um, just wanted to give you guys a heads up with that. And that has been one reason why I haven't done a lot of videos because I haven't done like a lot of ephemera and, you know, a lot of different pieces to ooh and ah about. So... Anyways, this was a fun one. I definitely was inspired by Lindsay's digital kit. People asked what have inspired me, and it was this digital kit. It is cut down quite a bit, um, but it's what worked for the um, cover when I was putting the cover together. I had those papers, and it just looked really cute. So that is my little journal I thought I'd share with you. I'll um, try to make some more videos of a couple other journals I've made this week, and post those as I can. Until then, you guys have a great day. I will um, keep you, um, I'll keep you posted on things that are happening and hopefully you'll start seeing more videos in the fall and in the winter and um, we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.